Cooperation as the New Medium of Exchange. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 283. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 283, September 26, 2018 edition. One Community's mission, if you're not familiar with it, is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on our planet and to build self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a path to global sustainability. Today, what I'd like to do is I'd like to pose a question. What if instead of competing with each other, we decided to use cooperation as the new medium of exchange? What if we decide to cooperate and collaborate as a culture instead of competing? What if that was what society looked upon as success in cooperating and collaborating as really the ultimate achievable goal instead of competition? The way that one community is working to forward this idea is by creating cooperative and collaborative eco-community models that are self-replicating, designed to be replicated, to be duplicated, and to be purposed for whatever people want. It doesn't necessarily have to be for cooperation and collaboration, but the initial prototype model of One Community is definitely about cooperation and collaboration and giving back to humanity, doing the right thing for humanity, making a difference in the world, and everybody that's joined our project as a member of the core team and will be building One Community and working together and cooperating and collaborating to create One Community as a place that you and anybody you know can visit is focused on this intent. We carry the consciousness with the highest good of all and we are doing our best to do the best for humanity because we want to live this way. And everything that you see happening in the background of the video here is what we spent years designing and they are what we will be building and inviting you and anybody else to come and experience it. And if you like what you see or to join our team and be a part of what we're creating, and if you like what you see, like what we're doing, we're open sourcing it, free sharing it so other people can replicate it as easily as possible and spread this, these ideas around the world as well. And so cooperation is new medium of exchange, the idea being that one community is being designed as a place that completely meets the needs of everybody that lives there so that from that place of having all of our needs met, we can maximize our effectiveness in making a difference in the world. And the way we're doing that is open sourcing all the foundations of a sustainable civilization so that we can reach that tipping point of participation and positively impact the lives of everybody on this planet. And that doesn't require everybody's participation. It only requires enough people's participation so that we can create self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs and spread them across the world. And all those hubs don't have to be about cooperation and collaboration. One community is designed that way, but our idea is that we are open sourcing and free sharing everything that we're doing with the consciousness for the highest good of all, so we can bring people together, create high, things with the highest good intent, and then basically release those into the world as open source content and allow people to do what they want with them. And hopefully, well, predictably, enough people will want to also give back from that place of abundance and having enough. We believe that cooperation can become the new medium of exchange. From that place of people having enough food and energy and water and highest good education models and fulfilled living models, creating an environment that we think that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now, that provides all of everybody's needs and more of the things that people want within walking distance from their homes and in an environment where they can share it with whoever they want. We think that this combination of the physical foundations of sustainability, food, energy, and housing, combined with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as fulfilled living practices, highest good education models, highest good economic models, and truer stewardship, and putting all these things together as a way of living that we think most people consider to be better than the way they're living right now, and providing those foundations in such a way that from that place of abundance, for people who want to make a difference in the world, it will, it can be, it's as easy as we can possibly make it because every, all your needs are met. So from that place and from this, this model, by reducing people's overhead, providing recreation and socialization activities that are beyond what most people are experiencing, even in major metropolitan areas and providing all the foundations of living that people need from that place of people having everything that they need to be happy, to be abundant, to be, to be what would be traditionally considered to be successful. 
Included in that is an opportunity to really make a difference in the lives of others, to help spread this model, to help open source and free share what people are doing and how people are living that way so that others can do it as well. And so if other organizations choose to contribute their open source, uh, their plans and every their modifications, adaptations to the open source collective as well, then we're here to work directly with those organizations to help facilitate that process, to promote their organizations, to use the... Uh, the marketing engine that we've been building now for eight years to support them in their mission, their shared with us of making a difference in the world. And so this is our idea of cooperation as a new medium of exchange. Provide enough for people so that people aren't limited by not having enough for themselves in their ability to cooperate and collaborate and give back to the rest of the world. Cooperation is a new medium of exchange built on a foundation of abundance so that it's not taking away from people and so that people have so much of what it is that they want, so much of what it is that they need, that they naturally will share it with the people that want it the most. They can. They don't have to. But we believe that a large enough percentage will, predictably they will, to make this model self-replicating. And the more people that participate in open source and free share what it is they're doing because they have enough and are in a place to be able to do exactly that, the more the idea will spread on its own, the more people that aren't interested in that will have the resources and tools they need to create just their own version of paradise, whether or not they need to share it or desire to share it. And because it's built with the consciousness for the highest good of all, it's a step in the right direction. And that's our idea, creating a self-replicating model that provides a better way of living, a way that most people consider to be better than the way they're living right now, open sourcing and free sharing it to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and attract demonstrates attractive enough so it's brand its own, and thus forwarding the cooperation as a new medium of exchange. So this is what we're up to. And with that said, here is one week of our team, our all volunteer teams, progress and accomplishments, working towards this goal. Take a look. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working with Michael Hagler, senior graphic designer and artist, finished multiple rounds of edits and correction of the first printed copy of the Seven Villages book we've been developing. You can see some of this work here, along with this picture of Sarah, me, doing one of the first hard copy reviews. The core team also created this additional updated render of the open source Murphy bed furniture so we could finalize this preview image for the book and update the website to show the level of detail we're working on. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 18th week leading the development of the Murphy bed instructions. This week he fixed a stair issue so the stairs fit properly, went through the nightstand section and added final construction points and drew up new plans to add a couch and increase the table size. Hamanth Koderu, structural engineer, completed his 19th week helping with the structural engineering research and calculations for the Earth Bay Village. This week's focus was research on the engineering details of the different kinds of earth that can be used to fill the bags. You can see some of the results of this research here. Mike Kowalski, game developer, finished his 17th week helping update our renders that are too big for anything but a gaming computer. This week, Mike created the nine Earthbag Village renders you see here. Next step for these will be Photoshop edits and then adding them to the appropriate pages of the site. Dean Scholz, architectural designer, also continued working on the Earthbag Village. Here's weekly update 127 from Dean. His focus this week was adding in the hot tub and beginning the AutoCAD elevations for this alternate floor plan option for the homes we'll be building as part of this village. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, additionally completed his 25th week working on the compressed earth block village render editions. This week he continued with initial people and object editions for this earth block village second floor outdoor perspective looking east. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team finished rebuilding the city center geodesic dome in 3D. This completes our process of double-checking all the angles and parts lengths, minimizing the number of different parts, and bringing the SketchUp file to the point it matches the AutoCAD file. The core team also completed a rebuild in addition of all the necessary content to the Duplicle City Center Time Investment Open Source Hub. 
This page describes how we'll be tracking construction time and all the areas we'll be measuring separately and together for the structure. Dipti Dondurkar, electrical engineer, also continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 91st week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was initial lighting selection, placement, and testing for the mezzanine level, some of which you can see here. Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, completed her 19th week helping with the duplical city center materials and costs. This week's focus was the flooring final cost analysis and material section, more work on the column and column footing cost analysis, and restroom and bath accessories cost analysis, some of which you can see here. Doa Feng, civil engineer, also completed his 17th week working on the fire suppression and safety systems designs for the duplical city center sprinkler and emergency systems open source hub. This week, he updated the tutorial and spreadsheet with the new pipe material selections, updated the reservoir sizing details, and added labels and updated colors to the master AutoCAD file to clarify branches and pipe sizes. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week, we continued research, edits, and additions to the orchard resurrection, hugo culture construction, food forest, and compost setup and composting section. You can see some of this work here. In addition, the core team worked on the apiary equipment instructions for hive setup, adding images and written content to the behind the scenes Google development doc as shown here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team began work on the information maintenance and sharing, taking your learning with you page. We redid the formatting and overall outline, updated the initial graphics, and rewrote the what and why sections. We'd say this brings the page to about 30% complete. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of cooperation as a new medium of exchange. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. And also, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media and manage your updates that way. Of course, if you'd like to help, uh, we have our helping page and the easiest way to help is to share our information on social media or just like our posts. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We're on LinkedIn, Tumblr, Reddit, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, all the popular ones as well as about 15 others that aren't uh, as popular, but if there's a social media network that you subscribe to, we are probably a part of it. And the easiest way to help us out is just to share our information or like our posts there and uh, help support us that way. Of course, uh, just watching to the end is also helpful, so thanks for that. If you make a comment on the videos, that's helpful as well, giving us a like, that's appreciated. If you're somebody who's donated to our project, as I said, we are a 100% unpaid team. None of us are paid for what it is that we're doing, including myself, so 100% of our donations all go into forwarding our open source uh, and free shared mission, so if you're donating to us, thank you. It makes a big difference, helps us to cover our website expenses and other things, uh, and our all-volunteer team will, of course, Keep on keeping on as we continue to work towards this goal of cooperation as a new medium of exchange. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.